we are back for a bit of a first impressions review and demonstration of something that's been requested and we're very excited to try it we out. Are... What is it, Hayley? Oh, it's a little black bag. A little box. black bag, a little black parcel. Yeah. This is actually a Jeffree Star Skin Frost. This yes. is the black one. The black one. The black one. So we're going to actually like put this on our face yep. now to show you what it's like, what we think of it on first impressions. Mm -hmm. um, and then what we're also going to do, which will be up at the same time, so check it out in the corner if you want to, um, because Jeffree Star was claiming that his skin frost is so big and they contain so much product and they're 15 grams and they're huge, we're actually going to break it apart, weigh the contents and compare it to another, I've got a blush that claims to be 15 grams as well. We're going to see just out of curiosity, how much product is actually in it versus other products. So there has been claims that the pans are quite thin. Yep. So we're going to put it to the test. We are. We're going to crack it open and have a look. Crack it open. So let's crack that open. Yes. So this is how it came packaged and we wanted to keep it this way so you guys could see. It is in like tissue paper, but inside is a is lot bubble of, wrap. There's a lot of bubble wrap. So. so I think they learned from the broken highlighter thing to really heavily... It could be broken for all we It know. could be! We haven't opened it. But there's so, a lot of bubble wrap in there. There we go. We've got tissue paper galore, Ooh. bubble wrap galore. Pink bubble and, wrap. And yeah, I tell you what, it's a lot bigger than I expected it to be. It's, it's nearly as big as your head, Hayley. It is. It is. <laughs> so this is Onyx Ice. How much was it? Uh, it? With shipping, it worked out to be over 50 Australian dollars. A lot of money. So we yep. bought it directly from the website. It's 29 US dollars for one highlighter and then 1095 10 shipping. shipping. So it was a lot of money yep. to buy one. But we are doing it for you guys. And anyway. actually there is there is a little bit of black smear in there. There is Can a little bit, yeah, that? there's a little bit of black, but you know, we'll see. We probably there can't we see. Hopefully it's not broken. Hopefully, Hopefully it's just a little smear in there. Hopefully. So there it is. It is large, definitely. Thought we'll compare it to a Becca highlighter. Yep. This is not a Becca blush, it's a highlighter. It's a highlighter. It looks so, like a blush Yeah. when you compare it to this. Let's open them up. So that is a Becca highlighter versus the Jeffree Star highlighter. Yep. So you do get a lot of product in there. Mm -hmm. um, and this claims to be 8 grams, that claims to be 15 grams. Um, just on first impression of the pan size, you can kind of understand, like it looks a lot bigger. It does. But in the next video we will debunk whether or not it contains a lot of product. I want to do the honors of swatching it. It actually mm. is a really, it's a, a much prettier color than I expected to be honest. It is a black highlighter, but it's almost got a navy mm -hmm. shift to it, like it does. It, it, like a navy shimmer. Like I thought it might have been similar to the Sugar Pill. Um, what's this one called? Uh, Shoot and Stars. Soot, Soot and Stars. Soot and Stars. I thought it was going to be similar to Soot and Stars, but you can see this one's a lot more blue, which is actually. Quite it's pretty. like a blue black rather than a, a grey black. Yes. Okay, so I want to do the honors of swatching it because I'm just really curious. Oh, it's very, it's very powdery. Let me. It's oh wow, oh, it's very wow. soft, very soft, it's really soft. I can understand why they break because they are so soft. Um, yeah. But I'm gonna swatch it. It's actually a nice color. Oh, it's um, it's like a navy, almost like a purple. Yeah, it is. It's got like blue, purple. Yeah. And it's more grey than black, so... I actually think that's nicer than I expected it that's, to be. Yeah, that would actually make a nice eyeshadow. That would make a nice eyeshadow. Now yeah. I feel bad that we're going to break it apart. Well, you know... It is what it is. For the sake of science. <laughs> yeah, true. Okay, so we're going to put this on our face now. We are. We're going to be let's, brave. Let's do it. I'm going to highlight everywhere that I would usually highlight. I'm so scared. Yeah. I'm so scared. Oh my god. Yeah, it's crazy. It's All crazy. Right. Let's do no it. No guts, no glory, baby. Let's do it. I'm going to cover my beautiful highlighter that I'm currently wearing. Oh, Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. I'm going to say I like the blue. I love the color. I love the color. I'm a little bit upset that we're going to be destroying it. Why is that so gross? Anyway, I'm a little bit upset that we're destroying it because the blue is actually a lot prettier than I expected it to be. Yeah. Oh my god. The color. All right. The color is great. For a highlight. Putting though, aside that it, it's, you know, a bluey purple gray. Yeah. The color of it is really beautiful. Yeah. Um, um, I just thought it was going to be some ashy, um, horrible black. Yes. Oh my god. Skin texture. Holy yeah. shit. That is a lot of skin texture. I'm noticing that as well. Oh god. Oh god. Right, give me mole. Give me mole. Need mole. Need like, mole. Like, she got that cup. Uh-huh. 
<laughs> I, yeah, I, oh, Jesus Christ, I highlight unevenly, clearly, one's higher, one's lower. Let's no, even that shit problem. out. Let's even it out. Yeah, this is not doing, it's a very reflective. I'm going to say it, it does is. a good job at being reflective. If you had super deep skin, this would actually be very beautiful. Well... You'd have to have very, very, very I dark mean, skin. Yeah, we're talking like darkest of dark. Da if you were the darkest skin tone around, the blue colour would actually be a lot pretty, like prettier than I expected it to be. I uh, yeah. Oh my god, this doesn't even come out of my nose. Oh Jesus. Oh, I don't want to put this down my nose. Look at it. It's actually lifting my foundation. Yeah, I've noticed that as well. So something I've noticed before I move oh on god. to more highlighting. It's not really... You're covering your face completely. Sorry, guys. Can you see what it's doing here? It's like it's not... It's, yeah, it's singing. catchy. It's, yeah, it's it catchy. is. It's, it's catchy. It's doing it on here as well. I feel like we need to do a close-up later, but it's actually looking a little bit scaly. Yes. Um, it's not really blending with the skin as well. I kind of look like a panda. Anyway, it's... Yeah, it definitely... Sit, like, of course, it's on top of the skin. Mate, <laughs> I look so ridiculous. Shut up. We oh, look fabulous. We look beautiful. Um, Jesus, it's bad. It does look patchy, but then again, I don't know what other highlighters, how they apply because they're usually not this dark. Yeah. So we normally probably wouldn't see this patchiness. Yeah, um, you can see, like, it doesn't... We will do a little close-up. Yeah. You can see it doesn't want to, like to the skin evenly. No, it doesn't. And it doesn't. Is... It takes a while to actually make a grip to the it skin. It does, doesn't it? Like, yeah. Oh god, I look. I, I look... literally look crazy. Oh my god, I look like a skeleton or something weird. Yeah. All right. Let's. Jesus, see. it's not nice. Let's do it the easy way. You're covering your face completely yeah. from the camera. Sorry. Here we go. Oh <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, it is not a highlighter, guys. It is not. It's not a highlighter. But if you had the deepest of deepest of deepest skin, like the 0.1% of the population that has really, really, really deep skin, this would be like the um, Anastasia Beverly Hills Moonchild um, Glow Kit, like the blue. It's got the blue shift, which is actually a lot prettier than I thought. This would make a nice eyeshadow, um, but as a highlighter, it ain't no highlighter. No, absolutely not. But it, the blue can, is nice. You can never use it as a highlighter. Absolutely. And I don't even think, like, oh, God, now I've got to get it off my lips. Um, I don't even, like, talking about the darkest of dark skin, maybe, but even then, It would still not, look dark. It's kind of weird. Yeah, it's too dark. It's. But what it would look like, you know, like the um, Anastasia Beverly Hills, uh, the purple or the blue? Yeah, yeah. You know how that's got, like, a blue undertone yes yeah it would have that effect it would it wouldn't give you a lightness but that shimmer would be a nice blue but yeah. on like 99.99 percent .99 of the population this looks crazy so i can see where he was potentially trying to go with it but i, th I honestly think what he was trying to do jeffree star was trying to create something controversial yeah um it's a lot of people bought it yeah. Um, and even though it's not a highlighter, and I don't care how many people try to argue it is a highlighter, it's not a highlighter. It yeah. is. Um, it would make a nice eyeshadow potentially, um, but it's definitely not a highlighter. If you want to like talk about the definition of a highlighter, what's the definition of a highlighter? The definition of a highlighter is to highlight. So there's low lights which shadows. bring shadows, and then there's highlights which bring light. Highlights bring the face out. Low lights push the face in so that's when and this is not bringing the face out <laughs> no this is crazy i don't even know what this would be defined as i could see people using this as like a contour if they were doing like a skeleton special yep. effects look with like sparkly finish or something yep. like that like artistic makeup but, but as a highlighter it's not a highlighter it's not a highlighter but yeah and you could also if you were curious about whether or not this was going to be suited for you? Answer is, short answer, it's not. No, it's but not. But if you did want to experiment with a shimmery thing like this, just get an eyeshadow because um, you can get a lot of cheap shimmery black eyeshadows that will give you the same effect. But I must admit, opening the pan, I am impressed that it's got a blue tint 
yep. rather than a silver tint. I think that's a smart move. Yeah. I still don't think it's any wearable than no. if it it's, had a silver no. tint, but no. um, yeah, it's crazy. All right, so I just want to show you guys what's going on with skin texture here. And hopefully you can see where the highlighter is not sticking to the skin properly. It's kind of skipping, would you mm. call it that? Yeah, yeah. yeah, it's kind of like it skips and doesn't stick to certain places. You can especially see on my nose here where it just kind of, what even is that? Okay, so do we give it a thumbs up or thumbs down? Um, look, I like the color. Yeah. Not for highlighting, obviously. Um, I don't like the price. I hate the price. I, I feel like Pete, he's actually robbing people. Yeah, I know. It's crazy. I would. I won't ever buy another. Well, I won't say ever, but at that price, I'm not going to buy another one because no. it's crazy. It's a bit ridiculous. Um, a fifty dollar highlighter, if you ask me, it's a bit rich. Um, yeah, I mean it's all right. The formula is okay. It's very soft. Um, you might notice that it's not as patchy um, if it's a lighter colour because you, yeah. you wouldn't notice that it's not sticking to the skin properly. Um, for me, I give it a one of these. I give it a this for the price. I give yeah. it this for the actual, like, uh, the point of the thing, which yeah. is a highlighter. It's not a highlighter, yeah. so it fails in that category yeah. straight off. But I'm going to say, opening it, I'm not 100% disappointed with the product. Yeah. If we were to keep it, I would happily use it as an eyeshadow. Yeah. So it is usable. Yes. But is it usable as a highlighter? No. no it's not. And do you really need an eyeshadow this big? No. Especially not that color. Come no. on. No. But no. Um, yeah. So if you like our look that we've created, give this video a thumbs up. If you want to see whether or not, like how much product this actually contains and see us breaking into it and see how like thin the actual pan is then check out the video up in the corner because that's what we're doing next. I, I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm so too. excited. Thanks okay. so much for watching, guys. Bye. Thumbs up. What? <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Bye.